Hey guys, what's up? This is Ash. Um, sorry, I'm doing a video because I had a I, I found this comment to be very rude and unappreciative of the videos I put out. So I'm actually wasting my own money because of a comment from someone called Endless. And I'm going to give you his YouTube name so you guys can have a look at the comments. Uh, his name is End, E-N-D space L, the number three SS, who actually called me a scammer and said that this is not true and you know it, it didn't turn out pretty nice i was quite upset about it and also the fact that i do this in my own spare time uh, the money i use is my own money i don't get sponsored or anything like that and i i was very upset about that so he for calling me a scammer i'm actually wasting my own money on a game that i don't even play which is minecraft um, so what I am going to do is he wanted me to prove that Minecraft works. I don't even like Minecraft, so I don't play it, but I do this videos to help the community. So what I'm going to do is my kids want me to purchase Minecraft dungeons and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to purchase a game for my kids and not for him to make him happy, but to show you guys the steps you would follow in regards to downloading Minecraft. So obviously I have the PlayStation 5. And uh, Minecraft is not available for download on the PlayStation 5, as you guys are aware, as for my previous video where this worked for 99% of people, except for this guy and a few others who had technical issues, which I can understand on the mobile app as well. So I'm doing it on my PC so you guys get a full screen view of exactly what's happening. So basically, you want to make sure you log on to your PlayStation account. And this is the same account that you would use to log into your PlayStation 5. You want to come up to the store once you log in on your browser. You want to come up to the store button here and hit the little search icon. I'm going to type Minecraft. And I just want to make something very clear, guys. Some guys have said that they have um, got a demo version and not the full version. That's because you can download the demo version and not the full version. So if I had to click on Minecraft, for example, and just wait for this to load, you will see that if you decide to purchase this, there's a free version, which is a trial version, and then there's the full version. And obviously this price is based on my locality being New Zealand, so it's $25.95. However, I'm not going to download that, but if you wanted to, you would click on that and you would click on Add to Cart. So basically you'll see up here, it's going to show my, my credit card details, which I already have saved. It is actually going to show the price and it's going to ask me to click on the uh, terms and conditions which says I request immediate access to my purchase and acknowledge that I will not be able to cancel my purchase once I start downloading or streaming the content. Like I said, I'm not buying Minecraft to make someone who doesn't believe that there are people that are trying to help the community to prove a point to him. I'm not going to purchase this game. I'm actually going to purchase Minecraft Dungeons for my kids, which actually serves the exact same purpose. So I just want to make sure that that game has been deleted. Um, off here so I'm sorry I pressed the wrong button let me press on remove so my shopping cart is now empty so I'm gonna hit the search button again and type Minecraft all right so there's Minecraft Dungeons there that's the one my kids want as you can see these games are PS4 games and that's the reason why um, you know you have to do it via this kind of way via your mobile phone through the PlayStation app or via your browser on your computer um, I'm not too sure when the new updates coming or if an updates coming I there was rumors that it is coming for next gen I'm not too sure but like I said, let me show you guys how to do this. So Minecraft Dungeons, <coughs> excuse me is $34.95. I'm gonna click on that All Right, it's loaded up right now as you can see I'm just waiting for the other features to load up my internet seems to be a bit slower than usual. All right, there we go so there's two versions I can choose from. As you can see, by default, it's just taking Minecraft Dungeons. If I wanted to purchase Minecraft Dungeons Hero Edition, I could just go add to cart. In this case, I'm just gonna go for the basic Minecraft Dungeons because that's what my kids wanna play. And like I said, I'm not gonna do this to make Endless happy that you know I've wasted my own money. So I don't play Minecraft, but I'm getting this for my kids. So Minecraft Dungeons, I'm gonna go add to cart. And you'll see on the uh, on the card page, it has the price, it has the my credit card details, it has the release date, which was 2020, uh, 26th of May. So all I got to do now to purchase this is basically click this little terms and conditions from Sony, and it'll automatically come off from my credit card. 
So just to show you guys, and I'm going to hit order and pay. And that's pretty much it guys. Purchase has now been made and you'll see that it start, says start downloading. So I can, uh, you know, I can continue shopping if I wanted to, or I could go download from library. And I haven't really done this via the browser, but let's have a look and see how this works out. So there's Minecraft Dungeons. These are obviously the other games that I have on my PlayStation 5, as you can see. All I'm going to do now is click on download. And once again, you want to make sure that you're on the same account that you use to log into your PlayStation 5. So it says how to view your downloads. Select downloads to track, pause or cancel or your active remote downloads. I'm going to say got it. And if I go to downloads right now, you will see that it is waiting. Uh, so basically what's going to have to, uh, what, what will happen is it will go onto my PlayStation 5 and start downloading. I've got the Outriders demo here, which is fine. Um, not too phased by that. That's all good. And that's pretty much it, guys. And now uh, I'll do a second video as soon as I get onto my PlayStation 5 using my mobile phone. Do a quick recording to show you guys this game downloading onto my PlayStation 5. Alright, guys. With that, I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out.